Well, I just got level 60 crafting, which also gave me 1200 total. I was not mentally prepared to actually hit a milestone so quickly, <laughs> but here we are. We got a thousand more to go. I believe we're only going to have enough to get up to, yeah, we're only going to get up to 61 crafting fairly close to 62, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, the original math I did for anyone curious on making my, uh, making these was actually just to get up to 61 crafting for lunar diplomacy. And then I was never going to touch like making molten grass normally again. This is 61 crafting. This is the requirement to make split bark helms, which is incredible. No, that, I mean, yes, but the main purpose of this is this allows us to do lunar diplomacy, which is really good. I think it's 61 might be 62 to be honest. Um, I always thought it was 61. Okay, I made about all of them. I'm actually not going to make these last 12 just in case I need them for a quest. Figure mine as well, but we have 36, 45 unpowered orbs. I am only 7,003 XP off from getting to level 62. Not that it matters. We're going to get tons of XP, but just figured I'd share that with you. We're very close. 10 plus 3. So we've gotten 13. And this is, you know, these are, these are uh, 12th and 13th one. We have not gotten any pure essence. We should be on on rate at this point. We go, oh, yay! We finally got it, dude. Oh my god, we're only fifty off. That's fine. We're gonna get the the next fifty. Actually, I think that's enough technically. Let me hold on. Give me math real quick. All right, it's technically short. Um, I need to be able to do three hundred forty five times three. Technically, I need like a thousand more pure essence, but this will be good enough to get thirty three hundred done. And then the last like little bit, you know, the last like thousand cosmics I can just buy. Oh, actually, no, I have them on me. Derp, I forgot I did the math. Uh, okay, we're doing this, boys. Okay, so I do have U logs, and these will increase the we'll get 10% chance to double contribution points for action and increase point uh cap by 10%. So this is what we're gonna utilize for now. Um, there are other things like I could use I had willows in there before, which just increase the amount of runes we get by five percent. Um, we'll probably use those whilst going and doing regular room crafting this is what lies below completed i did this for the room crafting xp and you're going to see why level 59 room crafting basically just there. i can now make double cosmics which is good i did this because a it's a quest out of the way i get the beacon ring but the primary reason is because it would save me a tiny bit of time because then i wouldn't have to do any more room crafting or any more guardians of the rift i could just go and do that now we did get some things with guardians of the rift which is really awesome i'm going to show you guys here if we go to the minigame section uh, I'm blind. There you go. So we got ourselves 310 Abyssal Pearls. I used 250 of these to buy the boots. So this way when I'm crafting Cosmics, I can get 10% more. So that's good. I did get the Cataclytic Talisman. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but this is awesome. This allows you to do Mornings in Part 2 without needing to get de Death Talisman. So that's good. I also got an Abyssal Die. And I also got the Intricate Pouch, which gave me some Cosmics. So that's pretty good. So I'm at uh, 125 uh, Rift Searches. And this is what I've gotten so far. I'm not complaining. I'm flexing. So I'm going to do something new. As I'm going to be doing Abyss Rune Crafting instead of crafting the Cosmics normally. My logic for this was it was actually taking quite a while to just do it normally. So I figured, screw it, I'm just going to do Abyss. For those of you who don't know, one of the new metas of doing Abyss Rune Crafting, I say new, but Edgeville is still technically faster. But for an Iron Man, this is better simply because I don't have access to Staminas and Energy Pods and stuff like that. So this is going to be better. So you go and you teleport to Ferrex Enclave using a Ring of Dueling and you, you know, get your stuff, etc. And then you come back and go do it. The best part about this is because I don't have lunar diplomacy completed and NPC contact, etc. This is better, so I can use my rune pouches without it being a hindrance. Um, and you know, when my rune pouches degrade, I just run over to the dude and have him repair them. So that's kind of the go to game plan. Story time, I think this is gonna be fun. My very first Iron Man I made, like official Iron Man, I should say, I played a lot of unofficial ones, but my very first official one I made, Autism Walks. I leveled up his rune crafting up to, I will tell you the exact level. Give me one second here, but I leveled it up just by making cosmic runes. So I leveled up to 63 rune crafting just by making cosmics. I went from level 27, the bare minimum level to make runes and uh, to make cosmic runes all the way up to, to 63 just by going and making cosmic runes. I had gotten up to 85 crafting um, on that dude, all by going and getting pure essence. For, and, and, and anyone who's curious, how did you get all the pure essence for that? Uh, you might ask, how did I get? Did I mine it? Uh, how, how did I get it? Um, dude, this was peak gameplay. I'm going to be 100% real. I went and I ranged 
Yes, range twisted banshees. I had 85 range on, the, on this guy. I range twisted banshees for all my pure essence. And then I also, and because I used magic to like, and because my method of leveling uh, uh, crafting was making battle stabs, which is basically what I'm doing now. Um, I also had 84 crafting. So by the time I ended the character, I had 84 range and 84 rune crafting. Just literally from going and leveling my crafting up to 85. I'm going to be honest. That was the most peak decision I ever made, but I had way too much time on my hands at the time. So I definitely would not do that because it took a long, it was, it was hundred percent worth it. I had an insane amount of money on the account. And with that money, I put it in the kingdom and I was able to get myself up to 68, uh, Arbor, all from kingdom. So in case anyone's curious, might as well go over it in case anyone doesn't know. I have a glory mounted in my house. So that is how I'm crafting earth orbs. The general route I'm taking is once I'm done charging earth orbs, I teleport with the ring of dueling I forgot to bring. I'll just go and use a clan teleport. Uh, I teleport with my ring with the ring of dueling that I would have normally brought. <laughs> and then I'll teleport to Ferrex Enclave, go and use the, um, go and, you know, restore my run energy, prayer, and any HP I'm missing, you know, remove any poison, stuff like that. Just, you know, basic stuff. Bank there, restock up on my cosmic runes and my unpowered orbs. If I need to get more law and air runes, I'll bring law and air runes as well. And then from there, I just go and I teleport to my house because I have an earth staff. So I'll teleport to my house and then go and uh, and come back and then go and just charge orbs like I'm doing now. And then, I okay, one more orb and then boom, we are done. This is not all of the orbs crafted, but this is all of our earth orbs crafted. So we now have 1,235 uh, earth orbs, which if I just recalculate again real quick, um, going from our current XP up to 66, which is what we need to make uh, air battle stabs. We need 1,228. We have 1,235, so that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my loadout slightly here. Um, let me show you. I'm going to take an air staff instead of an earth staff. I'm going to deposit my earth staff. And then from here, I'm going to go and take my, you know, the normal 75 cosmic runes. And then I'm going to go and take some of the, I'm going to take law and earth runes instead of law and air. And then, of course, I'm going to bring my unpowered. There we go. Pretty good. We're going to be getting the same amount regardless. This isn't going to change anything in terms of our per hour. We are going to get slightly more magic XP per hour. We're also going to get slightly more crafting XP. If it's not been obvious, I've been doing this for an absurd amount of time. So I just want to mention, I now officially have the amount I needed originally mathed out in order to move away from this. That being said, I'm going to continue going. I'm going to craft all of them because I do want to go and actually help participate with the group's goal of getting the Fury unlocked, uh, the ability to craft Furies. Uh, none of us are really going to be able to get it. So I want to help participate in that. That's what I'm going over. Plus having extra money is just going to be nice in general. And this is, and a couple more, 66 crafting, which means I can now start making air battle stabs, which is good. So I still have a handful of earth orbs left to make. So I'm going to be doing those. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is going faster than I thought. It's not going lightning fast speed. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it is going a lot faster than I thought. I thought for sure, and this is not a joke, this was going to take me a full week, a full from today, this Sunday, to basically Friday to do. I thought it was going to be that bad, but it really isn't that bad. I 100% know I can get this done today, which means that throughout the day today, or it means for the rest of the night tonight, and then throughout the week, this week, I can work on getting the Slayer points to unlock Broad Fletching, and then from there, I can just go crazy. I still don't know how I'm going to get Broad Fletching. I'll be completely honest. I don't want to spend four minutes explaining every little bit of my math I did wrong, but I just want to say a couple of things that I did not anticipate in a good way are affecting the amount of money, amount of orbs I'm going to need to craft for the money I need, and I'm going to be throwing the extra into storage rather than using them and pocketing the extra, basically one mil I would have. So let me take a minute to talk here and I'm going to leave a lot of details out. To keep it short and sweet, I did two things wrong. I didn't, I, there's two things I didn't anticipate. The first one, and honestly, probably the biggest one is I did not anticipate getting 
the 2400 nature runes I had acquired from getting Guardians of the Rift up. I had no idea I was going to get that many. I thought maybe I was going to get like a couple hundred at most, but no, I got like 2400. It was absolutely insane. And because of this, this saved me roughly 400 to 500 KJP. Additionally, past that, the other thing I didn't, didn't anticipate is how just how very little broad arrowhead packs go up when you buy them so buying them in sets of 10 i'm still getting them for roughly 55 gp each it's like 55.245 gp each even buying them at 10 packs at a time so a thousand arrowheads at a time this means i'm going to save a significant amount of money which means i need to go and uh craft and alk a significant less amount of battle slabs so if it's not obvious what i'm going to do here i'm level 69 crafting as you can see here and i'm only about 14k xp off so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to finish off the level 70 crafting i need which is the quest requirement for uh, monkey madness 2 and i believe that's like every quest requirement but at the very least it's monkey madness 2 quest requirement out of the way and then from there i'm going to throw the extra like roughly 600 uh orbs i have left and i'm going to throw them into group storage to put in perspective the amount of money i need is only like 5800 gp or it's like 5600 5800 something like that uh one of those two is there well this is a monumental occasion 70 crafting in the bag this is awesome we can now make the diamond amulet and we can make crystal helms and crystal and celestial signet which is awesome main point main perk though is that this is the I believe monkey madness 2 requirement out of the way and i believe this is like every quest requirement done we also have 80 battle sabs i'm gonna throw the extra 600 into group storage sorry about that that was uh my computer i had mouse keys on i'm gonna throw the extra 600 into group storage for everybody Boom, just so they can use it. I should definitely keep them for myself and get myself the extra like one mil, but honestly, I don't care that much. Now I'm going to go and alk these, and I actually want to see something real quick while I have you guys. Let me just see something really quick. I don't think I'm going to do it. I just want to test it. Okay, I don't think I'm able to do this, but I want to see if they'll let you buy the broad arrowheads anyways. You can? Oh! <gasps> okay, so now I'm going to spend the next while buying broad airheads so i'm gonna set my left click to okay forgot to do the math on the extra five thousand i needed to buy i only did math for a hundred thousand but we now have all of the broad arrowheads acquired we now have quite literally <laughs> we have 75 fletching banked this was a lot faster than i thought we have 698k basically 700k bank which is awesome i that is that is more than i anticipated i thought i had more but now we have not even a joke. 105,000 headless arrows, as you can see here, exactly 105. Well, actually, over 105. And 105,000. Okay, boom. This is two diamond amulets crafted. And I believe, I don't know, it is earth runes. Okay, that's what I thought. And then, boom, we now have two power amulets crafted. I can obviously make more. I have a bunch of diamonds in my bank and I have gold bars. Um, so anyways, let's see what our first assignment is. I gotta change my left click on this girl because left click, uh, is there a reset? Wow, well, she did do assignments. All right, assignment. Uh, before I sign, you need to make some clear. I got to be done the wilderness and everyone's count. I didn't need to check your combos, blah, 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 blah. Holy crap. Yes, I understand. I must go stuff in the wilderness. All right, 108 hill giants. I don't think that's bad, honestly. All right, this is gonna be my very first wilderness slayer task completed. I'll be honest, I freaking loved it. You do not get any uh, points. I did not think I would get any slayer points from this. I had a feeling I need to complete five, but this was without a doubt, probably one of my favorite wilderness slayer tasks I could have gotten. It was really good on the range XP department, which is what I need. And in terms of just general slayer XP, it was respectable. Additionally, I got a couple herbs, nothing crazy, but I did get a couple herbs. I got a quarm and ear in a, uh, and a Harlander, which, you know, again, nothing to write home about, but it's just nice to have. So there you go. Also, I got three giant keys, which is awesome. I'll be honest. That's really cool. I'm going to go get my next task. Let's hope it's something good, but let me get everything sorted in my bank real quick. Okay, we teleported to Edgeville. Let's see what our next task is going to be. Hopefully, it's something easy again, like a spider task, hellhounds. I don't think those are bad. They're slow as fuck, but I know they're not bad. And task completed. This was a very lucrative task in XP. Not necessarily in time. <laughs> but honestly, 
I'm glad I did it. We got 11,000 prayer XP, as you can see, which is nice. Uh, or not prayer, 11,500 Slayer XP, which is nice. And we actually had some decent loot. I'm just going to show you guys what we've gotten. So we got ourselves five Rev Cave teleports, which is awesome. Um, five Rev Cave teleports, 12, uh, what are these called? Blighted teleports, which we aren't going to use. I thought they did something else. 17 Ancient Ice Sacks are going to be great for the future. 66 Entangles, which could potentially be super useful for like Scorpia and maybe something like that, but it, it could potentially be useful. Four of the Drake, the Dereki teleports, one Anorak, one Kirill, one Zenistin. So that's pretty good there. Uh, God, I, I I actually picked those up. We got 39 Vengeance uh, sacks, which I'm probably never going to take advantage of, but I picked them up anyways, just because. And I got the Slayer Enchantment, which potentially would be good for the future. I'm not going to promise anything, but potentially. We also got two insult uh, uh, Dragon Head, uh, Hellhound Heads, which are good for Perk Speed. Uh, and also... A Larinsky. So overall, very lucrative task. We got a decent amount of magic XP. Honestly, I got 25% into or 23% into 74, which is good. So, okay. I really want like a spider task or rat task or yeah, spiders. And as expected, this was a very quick task. I did not expect it to be slow. It went very, very quickly. I could have definitely done this faster in various ways, but it's fine. I did grow a strength level, which is awesome. The downside is I grew a combat level. I prefer keeping my combat level a little lower at the moment, but it's fine. I'm going to run to Crystallia. We're going to get our next task. Two more till we can start getting points, which, by the way, we get 25 points per task. So basically, every two tasks, we unlock a skip if we wanted to. If, so if we got something extremely bad, we could skip it. But I can't really think of any tasks that would be so bad we got to skip it. Even revs, I'll be honest and just say like, yeah, we'd have to pay 150k, but I could just kill imps. Or I could farm the imps, or I could farm the hobgoblins or regular goblins. Like, I can kill a low-level one. I'm not that worried about revenants. The only problem that sucks is I have to spend 150k, but, you know, it is what it is. I think that's 150k until you die, though I could be wrong. Regardless... Let's get our next task. Hopefully something good. 130 Dark Warriors. I know where those are. Okay, so finish this <clears throat> task for get our next task. This task, ironically, lucrative. I, I don't know how or why, uh, but the level eights that shouldn't be dropping crap dropped a Slayer enchantment in the Laren Ski. I'm not complaining. I'm happy. Just more shocked. Let's see what we get. Scorpions. We can... <laughs> Okay, this one went extremely quick, uh, even faster than the Dark Warriors, mostly because I didn't have to move. I could just stay in this one spot. We Did we get any points for this? We did! Yes, we got points! Oh my god, sorry. <clears throat> that made me happier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to get points next task. That's good. Whew, we're actually getting points now. That makes me happy. All right, let's see what our next task is going to be. I'm really hoping we can get lucky. I, honestly, I, I just want super easy tasks. I don't know what... They are. I just want super easy tasks. I'll be honest. Please, please. Mammoths, I know they aren't difficult. I know they're not easy, but I know they're not difficult. All right. This is my next thing completed. My next task got 25 points. I am going to go and get a new task. I got a Laren's key from this one, which is really nice. So I now have three total. I forgot to bank this. I also got a Slayer Enchantment from the other one. I forgot to make it, but I just got some random, like, herbs nothing crazy and two prayer one doses so that's good um what i'm gonna do as well oh i got some gems which some emerald oh so i'm gonna go and make this i'll bank the oh, i got but make all these make this and then what i'm gonna do after i get this is i'm actually gonna upgrade both my ava attractors i'm gonna buy a bunch more bolts as well i'll probably get myself like ten thousand total bolts i'm gonna get myself like three i'll get myself like four four or five attractor or uh accumulators and upgrade my two attractors to as well uh let's see what we get here hopefully some good fire giants not bad could be better but also could be a lot worse i keep re-recording this clip because i keep losing my temper <laughs> um i lost my rune pouch i keep it story short and sweet i went and did my fire giant task on a pvp world i did not bring my rune pouch to the fire giant task i'm not that dumb i was doing the, the task on a PvP world because I kept getting PK'd and it went well. It was it went perfectly fine. It was the best idea uh, I was given. I didn't come up with it myself. Someone told me and I was like, it's a great idea. It worked well. I got my task done in complete peace the entire time. I didn't get PK'd at all while in the PvP world. It was great. 
The problem was I completely forgot I was in a PvP world. I went to uh, I, I went to Laren's chest. I looted Laren's chest. Then I banked, and then afterwards I teleported to Edgeville. And for those of you who don't know, if you die with your rune pouch, you lose uh, in a PV in any PvP scenario. Even if it's the only item on you, you lose it for some fucking reason. I no idea why, but you do. Uh, and I lost it. Um, so I lost my rune pouch. So I have to get a new one. The game plan for getting it is pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to spend 750 Slayer points on it. I've done this two times already on this account. One time for so, um, one of my group mates and another time for myself. So I'm going to have to do this a third time. The game plan I'm going to do is just overtime. I'm not going to grind it out. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to sit here and just do it all day every day. I'm going to do a, a game or two every day. I just, see, I just did a game today. I got four points. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do a game or two every day, get get a couple of points every so often, and then eventually I'll get my rune pouch back. That's the game plan. And this is another really task done. Nice. Um, but well, uh, no complaints, honestly. I got four <laughs> giant keys and I got a longbone. We got our looting bag back, which is great, and we got an Avento and an ear, which is nice. But nothing to write home about. We don't really do these for the herb supplies, sadly. Um, you don't get many herb supplies in any of this, and that's fine. I ended up going, and just so you guys are aware, so I, it's easier for me to, like, you know, kind of come back into things. I got myself five green dehyde bodies and DI chaps. I have five Ava's uh, accumulators, and I have five uh, rune gloves and five coifs. I just figure this is going to be easy for me to get right back into the fray things if I happen to die. So that's my logic there. So if we come over to our looting tab, we can see we have seven keys already. I'm probably going to get a bunch of these before I send it. Um, so there's that. Anyways, let's go get my new wildy task here. I don't have many runes anymore because they were all inside my looting bag. <laughs> uh, or rune pouch, sorry. And uh, yeah, we got ripped. So let's see what our next task is. Hopefully it's something easy, uh, super chill. I, want, I care more about points and XP. We did get 55 range from that, so that's good. We are definitely getting range levels, which is nice. I'm glad my range is slowly catching up, or well, actually surpassing my Chaos Druids, that's awesome. I love Chaos Druids. Okay, this is going to be, if I can ever kill it, the last Chaos Druid for the task. We now have nine tasks done. This was, hands down, my favorite task I've done so far. I want this task more. It was super chill. Yes, a little click intensive because you kill them so quickly, but I went by super fast. We also got a large amount of just supplies, like just herbs. Like, look at this stuff. We got almost an entire looting bag of herbs, which is awesome. So I'm quite happy about that. So if you open this and just throw them all in here, uh, I know I got a bunch of some stuff. I got some lower level ones as well, just for funsies. But yeah, overall, just a really good, honestly, task. Uh, hopefully something really chill. I would actually not mind, uh, hill giants again, but you know, let's see mammoths. I'm okay with that. That's going to take a while, but I am perfectly okay with that. That is a perfectly adequate task. I wasn't really paying attention, but, uh, <laughs> I got 57 range and the perk about this is I got 1275 total. So we're actually flying through these total levels pretty nicely. I do want to mention the, this mammoth task. I freaking love it. This is my second time doing it. And I will say it again. I really like it for the XP. For points per hour, it sucks. But for XP, it's great. This is level 58 range. I almost thought I said something different. All right, we are dangerously close, as you can already tell. <laughs> but this is going to be my 10th wilderness task done. Boom, baby. 125 bonus points. We don't get anything, and that's perfectly fine. Task went pretty well. We got nothing of note. Just really the only thing to know is we just got more Slayer enchantments and just random bull crap you get from these kind of boys. So I'm only 20 points away from actually going and being able to unlock broader fletching. So what I'm going to do, and there's logic to what I'm doing. I'm going to head to Vinaka and get a task from him because that'll be my 10th task via, um, that'll be my 10th task via normal Slayer. And that'll get me the 20 points I need for... Uh, you know, they'll give me the 20 points I need to get unlocked broader fletching. Then after that, I will go back to doing wilderness slayer to get up to 40, to get up to 55 slayer. That is my current thought process. So I know I should probably just do more wilderness slayer, but my logic is I 
don't want to risk having, like, if I get a task I really don't want, I want to be able to trail skip without it being an endeavor for me on my normal task list. Okay, the final countdown. What task are we going to get? Are we going to get something good and easy and quick or something long and painful? Luckily, I will say this. If the task is too annoying, I won't do it. And I will just go do a trail skip, then head over to the Wildy and then head over to the Wildy Slayer Master and get a Wildy task. I'm just going to let you guys know that right now. But let's see here. Hopefully, we don't have to do that. We just get some good. I'm going to close my eyes. What is it? Infernal Mages. <laughs> Oh no, dude, that's actually bad. I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of terrible. I will be completely honest, but... Okay, ow. I, I prayer flicked the last five kills because I refused to run back and come back for five kills. And, and I'm like, keep prayer flicking. <laughs> Anyways, we don't have enough points. Let's go. I... I don't... And we're still... Okay. Are you guys ready? Rotter Fletching unlocked. Freaking done. So I'm taking a screenshot. Hell yeah, dude. Hell freaking yeah. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is the... All the requirements done. I'll actually go and craft them. <laughs> so uh, I'll catch you guys eventually. I'm gonna I'll catch you guys in about 10 years when this is done. You know what, while I'm in the area, I actually want to see what my next Wildy task is going to be. Um, for those of you who don't know, I mentioned it before. I don't know if the clip's going to be in here. But I do want to go and level up my Slayer up to 55 via Wildy Slayer. Because I've actually been having a really good time doing Wildy Slayer. Plus, it'll help me rack up points. And I need points because I want to get bigger and better. I want to unlock a Slayer Helm. And I want to get Ring Bling. I want to get all three of those. So that's going to be good. I don't know what level I need for Slayer Rings. I think I need 75, so I might have to boost for it. Uh, let's see here. That would suck. Yeah, I would need to boost for it, so that's going to suck, but I can at least make a handful right now, which is good. Let's do our next assignment. It's going to be Fire Giants. That's perfectly fine. I have no problem doing Fire Giants. I'll be completely honest. That's a, that's a, at least I know it's a chill task I can get done. So, Sorry, my cat is crawling all over me and my desk at the moment. <laughs> but this is 60 Fletching, the first milestone, and our very long grind up to 75, which is going to be good. Going to get 15 more levels. It's going to put us at, oh, we're going to have exactly 1,300 total. That's going to be awesome. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, so we're going to keep going. Levels are flying through. Like I said, I'm getting about 350 KXP per hour, which ironically is like 100 KXP per hour less than what you're supposed to. But I'm also doing this super like chill slash AFK. I'm watching shows in the background. So there's that. I'll just catch you guys up at notable milestones, probably like every five levels or so. I don't know if I'm going to finish it tonight. It's already 10 o'clock. I might only do this for like an hour, maybe, maybe an hour and a half to two. We'll see. But I just want to knock out a bunch of these tomorrow after work. 100% finishing this up. Overall, it should only take me about two to like two and a half hours to make all 100,000, I believe. So it won't be too bad, honestly. It won't be too bad. All right, I'm nearly at the halfway mark, and this is going to be level 69 fletching. This allows us to make the rune crossbow, which is awesome. Maybe slightly uneventful, but this is a very nice fletching level, and I did not totally start recording too early 70 fletching in the bag five more levels to go it's right after work i finished eating dinner etc let's keep going what do we unlock at 70 fletching i am maliciously curious we get ourselves you longbows this is what this entire episode has been building up for 75 fletching this is so nice to have feels good we also get the ability to make rune arrows which is whatever but 1300 total hell yeah i still have 390 of these bad boys to make i'm gonna go make these real quick then i'm gonna go hunt for the boost to make a bunch of magic short bows because i want to make a bunch and i do need to get uh some bowstrings i don't think i have any whatsoever so i need to get 50 bowstring because i was given 50 magic logs I'm going to keep probably about 20 of the MSPs myself, but I do plan on making all 50 and I'll throw them in the group storage. Uh, that being said, let me go finish this off and I'll catch you guys once we get something done. Since I was in the area, I decided to stock up on some stews. I had three in my bank, so I bought 17 total just so I could have a total of 20. I made 20 and um, <laughs> I 
forgot to get I, I didn't log out in time so i lost my boost i don't think i have any orange spices i do not so yeah i'm just gonna stop here i have 20 so i'm just gonna keep the 20 and, and use them is the best way to put it i'm not gonna kill myself over it and i'll probably you know save some i still have to make these into strong and whatnot so We'll deal with this later. I don't feel like dealing with this now. I'll deal with this later. It matters I have 20, which is plenty for me. And then if anyone happens to need some, I can give them some. Okay, I want to upgrade my uh, my my armor for ranged here. And I don't want to go too crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill some of these blue dragons here underneath the Heroes Guild. And I'm going to keep the bones. I'm going to keep the dehyde, obviously. And I'm not going to go too crazy, but I want to get a couple. So, okay, I killed 10 blue dragons before I didn't feel like doing anymore. I didn't want to go. I realized it's kind of, I don't want to say pointless, but more like it's not such a big boost that I feel like it's worth me going and grinding out a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of dehyde. So I just decided, you know, not to, <laughs> I'll be honest. So I'm going to go turn these into leather and I'm going to get a one crafting boost somehow. And, uh, Oh, boom. We got the crafting boost. Here you go. Boom. So I'm just going to make the two, Blue dehyde bodies. Oops, I, I had on one. Boom, two dehyde bodies. Boom. So now I have blue dehyde top and leggings. Nice. Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. Every time I see someone with a max cape and a fire cape and not an infernal cape, I just laugh. Not at the person, but because you know they get roasted. You know this old bay dude gets roasted on the hour. Every hour, someone's probably telling him and roasting him about it. So I'm going to... Who the fuck are you? Anyways, I'm going to go and I'm going to call the episode here. Made some decent progress. Got 70 uh, crafting. Got our magic up to some decent levels. Got up to 74. Got 75 fletching with 105,000 broad arrows. And of course, we made ourselves 20 magic shorebows. So I'm going to go do a handful of things. I want to go work on getting my um, Slayer up because I want to get 55 Slayer. And then I'll probably go and work on doing regular Slayer after that. Well, I, I, well before I do regular Slayer, I'll go and get um, my combat stats up. Then I'll do regular Slayer. There's a whole bunch of stuff I, I want to do. We'll see what, I'll, what, what happens. I'm probably going to go send a couple um, LMS games here to kind of wind down the skilling. And then I'll think about what I want to do from there. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.